Hi, this is Bill. Today I'm going to show you how the reading app, uh, the reading log app works. So what I have here, this is a Nexus 7 tablet. I'm just going to walk you through the different screens that are there so you can kind of see what, what goes on during this reading app. Uh, during the reading log app. So what I have here, again, this is a Nexus 7 tablet, and here is the app icon that I created specifically for this app. So tapping that is going to take you to the home screen. And when you get to the home screen, there are basically three different options that you have. You can time your reading, you can record your reading, or you can go to my reading log. Okay, so when you time your reading, you're going to have two different options. The first one is a timer screen and the second one is a stopwatch screen. What the timer screen will do is you set a specific time up here and you can go up or down depending on what it is that you're trying to do. And then if I want to read for 10 minutes, say I'm a student and I have to read for 10 minutes tonight, I'm going to go ahead and click start on here and it's going to start counting down and this will count down all the way through 10. At the end of those 10 minutes, a buzzer will go off and the device will vibrate. Okay, and that's how that's how we go, that's how that time is going to be recorded. As soon as you get done to the end of that time, the this right here, the, the number of minutes that you have read is going to be put into a variable that is then passed on to the reading screen. So that's the first way to time your reading. The second way, if we go back is the stopwatch and when we get to the stopwatch there's just a couple buttons on the stopwatch the stopwatch work, stopwatch works a little bit differently in that you don't see it count as it goes so this is particularly useful when a student they know they need to read but they don't know necessarily how long they're going to read they're just sitting down to read so here we go if we click on start it says that your time has started now you don't see the stopwatch running Okay, so that's one of the things that um, this particular screen doesn't do. But if you're ready to see how long you've read, you can click on this button that says show time. And when I click on that, we can see that it's been 16 seconds since I clicked that first start button. So that's how, that's another way to do that. When this app is done, when the student pushes record reading down here, what will happen is that the, the amount of time will be rounded to the nearest minute and then that variable will be placed inside of that will, that time will be placed inside of a variable which will then be taken to the reading screen so if we go back once again let me go back home the uh, the next option is to record my reading now clicking on record my reading takes you to this screen here if you go all the way through the reading uh, timer, you will be redirected to this screen as well. And if you go in the, in the stopwatch app or the stopwatch screen, if you go all the way through that stopwatch, when you click show time, then there's also a reading log or record my reading button on there as well. So on here, we have the date that autofills. We have the minutes which also autofills from based on either the timer or the stopwatch. Right now it's at zero because we didn't make it to a minute on any of those. Then you have the opportunity to insert a book title, which will pull up the keyboard screen, as well as a book author, which also will use the keyboard screen. Now, if you have, if you want to use a book that you've already read, you can click on the choose book I've read before button right here. And it's gonna bring up a list of all the books that have been read. So let's suppose that I just read or continue to read Goosebumps and I want to record that again. I'm going to tap on Goosebumps here and it's going to put the book, pre-fill the book title and pre-fill the author. When I'm ready, I can then click Submit Reading right here and it's going to say your reading has been recorded. So what that does is submits it to the reading log. Now let me go to my reading log here, which you can also get to from that main screen. And what this does is it simply shows what has been read in the reading log or, or what has been recorded as being read. So right here where it says select book, I click on that. Here are all the books that I've read and down here at the very bottom, we're gonna see Goosebumps. If I click on Goosebumps, it's gonna say, it's gonna give the title, it's gonna give 
the author, the date, and the time read. Okay? If I want to check a different book, I can go back in and let's suppose I want to do Bezos and Ramona. I can click on that and we can see that it was 120 minutes. Those are really the three different elements of this app. It goes all the way through the process. The last thing that I have on here is more for an administrative side and that is this little square right here. Clicking on that little square, this will allow me to delete books, specific books from the database. So if I click on get books from database, then choose book to delete, I get my list that comes back up again. Now if I want to go back and now delete that Goosebumps book that I just read that, or that I just recorded, I can click on Goosebump, push delete books, submit to server, and now that book is no longer in my list. If I go back again, let me just show you, do that reading log and select the book. That's a different Goosebumps book than before. So that's how the app works. That's really all there is to it. There are more features that I would add later, but as a basis for the app, that's what we have.